Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to show you how you can get started with Apache Polaris catalog locally using docker container. So in this video we're gonna spin up a Polaris catalog using docker, docker compose command and then we're gonna create a simple iceberg table and register those table in Polaris. So without wasting any further time let's get started. So let's focus on the guide. All right so the first step that we need to do is uh, we need to clone the repository. So I am on the GitHub, as you can see, and I'm simply gonna click here, copy the link, and then I will probably head over to my project directory. So let me open up my terminal. Okay, after that, I'm just gonna copy this. So now, as you can see, I'm cloning the, uh, the, the project locally. Now over here in this project, you will see a file called docker-compose.yml. Now come to this docker-compose.yml and simply comment out this particular uh, service. We don't need it. Uh, that is reg test. We don't need that, you know. So let's comment that out and rest everything will be set to default. After that, uh, again, all the commands that, I, that I'm gonna use, I have that in the um, my readme page. So first now what we're gonna do we gonna spin up the stack. Actually, I think I need to go uh, inside the directory first. So I will cd polaris, and then I'm just gonna say docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus d. This will take a couple of uh, minutes. So I'm gonna pause the video and resume once the build is complete. All right, so the containers are up and running as you may see. The next step is basically you will go use your docker desktop and click on the container that's running. Now, what we want to do is we want to search for this. So copy this word, realm colon default, whatever that is given, and then simply search for that. Uh, let me zoom out. And then here you would see this particular, um, you know, uh, uh, GUID. We want to copy that. So I'm going to copy this and then I will paste it over here. Oops, looks like I was not able to copy it. So let me try once again. Okay, now I was able to do it. So the first part would be the client ID and the next part is gonna be the client secret. So do this step um, uh, with me. So make sure to copy your client uh, ID and then the client secret. Okay, so once that is done, now we need to create a catalog and then we have to you know, create some roles. So I created a file called run.shell. All this does is basically it makes your life a little easier, right? So if you observe here, it's pretty generic. It's gonna create a, a catalog called Polaris, right? And then gonna set bunch of roles and policy. So what I will do, uh, okay, so now let me again go inside this path. All right, and now uh, chmod, chmod plus x run dot shell. And then I'm gonna say dots dot slash run dot shell. As you can see, uh, it was able to create a catalog for me, and it also uh, you know made sure that uh, the necessary roles are created. Okay, so cool, right? Now the next part is you can use it, right? So uh, you would uh, export these environment variables. These are important, like the client ID and the client secret. Uh, that's the one that we generated up here, right? We generated these client ID and client secret. So I will copy these and I'm simply gonna replace this over here. Now I'm gonna set these environment variable on my terminal, as you may see. Okay, done. And now you can um, simply start the PySpark shell command. Or uh, if you wanna use Jupyter Notebook, you can do that. If you wanna do Spark SQL, you can do that as well. So I'm, I'm saying PySpark, uh, I'm using Spark 3.4. So I made sure that I have the necessary jar file which are compatible with the Spark 3.4. After that, as you may see, I define all my configurations such as Polaris credential, which is basically the client ID colon client secret and all the necessary configuration that are needed. So I'll do this. 
this will basically launch a PySpark shell over here. Cool, right? And now uh, you can say, hey, show me all the catalogs that you that you got, right? And then you can say, create a namespace called Polaris DB. So I'm gonna do that. So we made a namespace. And now we're gonna create a table inside that. So create table polaris.db.name. Uh, this is the column name, it's, it's a string. And we're gonna create an iceberg table. So I'm gonna copy, cool. And then let me insert data into Polaris. Cool. Uh, I mean, let me insert data into iceberg, not Polaris. Polaris is simply a catalog, so sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so now you can, of course, run a query and you know uh, see the data. You can also do that uh, using Spark sh shell, uh, Spark SQL, I mean. So here I have also given the command for that. So let me launch Spark SQL. And then I'll just do this one. There you go, as you can see. So cool, right? A simple exercise, again, nothing comp complicated, a simple hello world. Uh, anybody who's just wondering, hey, how do I even get started? So this video will help you guide, you know, a simple guide using Docker, you can spin up Polaris locally, a simple guide, you can launch your PySpark shell or Spark SQL and create a simple iceberg table. That's all I have for the video. Hope you have enjoyed. I am personally exploring this a little more, like for example, the roles and the policy, etc. So I'm learning um, still, but I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, let me know your question in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you if I know the answers. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming and I'll see you next time.